Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending upon where you are from and when you are listening to this or watching our Table Talks by Ernie Meyer. On the Ernie Meyer Show, brought to you by the eFit Mini Gym that you can get $20 off from me in the next time when you purchase one of these in the link below. So you can have the natural one or the full one that includes videos, what have you. You could take this anywhere you go and fits just about any place in any room, in any office, in any motel, no matter how you travel. So today's talk is on leadership. And what I want to talk about today is making decision as a leader. Let me give you an example. When I was with Corporate America, I had the owner of the company, two top engineers, a junior engineer who was responsible for admit, uh, implementing, that's easy for you to say, an idea that will solve a quality problem in this particular product. All of them discussed the different options and everybody walked away except for myself who was standing there and the person responsible for implementing the idea that would eliminate the problem. He looked at me and he says, what should I do? Because the decision wasn't made. And I said, well, what do you think you should do? You had three choices. Will all those three choices work? He said, yes. I says, will all those three choices give you the great quality that is expected in this product? And he said, yes. I says, which one is the easiest and quickest to implement? And he picked one out and I said, go with it. He says, what if I am going with it and I don't have the approval? Of the I says, they walked away. The heck with them. I don't care if they're the owner or not. I said, you had my word to go back on. Make a decision. Do it. And I put it in writing. He made a decision. Needless to say, on a Monday morning, this was on a Friday, on a Monday morning when I came in to work, that decision was halted by the people who should have made the decision in the first place. And I blew up at them and I got in their face, including the owner. And I said, what the hell are you think you're doing? I said, you walked away. I said, nobody made a decision. I said, you were afraid to make a decision, all of you and your top engineers. I said, I made the decision. I gave him that information. He said what would work and what would be the fastest and quickest way and the best quality. And he told me, and I said, go with it. I said, now, I promised the plant manager that this would be done. Do it. The owner of the company did it. I have many, many other examples about making a decision. And one that's more compelling about thousands of dollars that I spent to save a company, their client. That'll be coming later. So will you make a decision as a leader? That's one of the first things that you need to do. We will make a decision as a leader and then move forward and stick by it and own up to it. Don't shy away. Not all decisions you make are gonna be good ones. Not all decisions you make will be true ones or accurate ones or ones that will work. But at least there'll be decisions. Decisions that you can make and then know if you're right or wrong by the outcome. Leaders make a decision and then do what it takes to make that decision workable and real. So I ask you, as I ask you in all my free information and table talks, who's been feeding your brain? What have you been feeding your mind?